Well, since uh, nobody's ever seen this running, we thought we'd do number two on the uh, the Plymouth that we see. Oh, wow. That's a cold start and a half, right? So this car was in a California wrecking yard. Actually, no, I lied. It was in Kingman, Arizona. And that car was in my mate. Oh man, that sounds great. That car was in my mate Dave's yard since 1997. So, I sold it to Joey here, who's now the new custodian of it. So last time you saw this car, I was dropping it off. It wasn't running. Obviously, the, uh, there's a bit of a power steering pump attention on it, but it's leaking. Is it leaking? Yeah. But this is the first time this car has run since 1997. Man, it sounds nice. Steel crank 440 as well. Holy moly! Oh, it's got a new engine, manifold, and everything on it. So this car, oh, it's got brakes and everything now. So this car sat around that wreck and yard waiting for me to pick it up forever. I came across it in 2013 and I managed to buy it in 2019, 2020 actually, just before COVID came. Oh wow, it's still got a National Park sticker. Oh, that's so cool. We should replicate that. We should definitely replicate that little sticker. That's cool as. So the last time you all saw this, it was looking a little bit less good for wear and sounds good man so this is running a steel crank 440 like wasn't it the original hp 3383 got taken away from it for um for actually for a, a 1970 dodge charger and i persuaded dave who's an awesome dude, by the way. He used to run Route 66 Restorations. I persuaded Dave that this needed to be saved. And I put my money in my, my hand in my pocket, bought it straight away, and got to fit a 440 back into it so we could get up and run it. Man, it looks better inside now, Joe. <laughs> and after 30 years of desert dust has been removed, oh my God, it looks nice in here. Look at this. Wow, if anyone remembers like the tales from the crypt story it was last time we were in there. She's considerably better now. That looks good, mate. What a cool looking car. And this is just the start of it. Obviously, there's more to go. But it's amazing. Good work, man. A proud owner right there. Love it. <laughs> yeah, a bit by bit we'll get this car back to life. It'll be... Four doors. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Everybody likes four doors, mate. Everyone that watches this channel loves four doors. Do you know the really, really cool thing about this as well? It's actually got a, quite a rare, like, um, well, it's a pillar, it's a pillar, it's hard top, which is really cool, but it's got the really cool, rare horn blow, horn rim steering. Yeah, not rim blow, but it's got the, the ring, and you never see those, they're really hard to get, because basically everybody nicks them, because they, they put in Blues Brothers copies cars. Even the dash is nice in it, really. We well, should get Errol. Mate, we should get Errol to do the top of the back of the seat on this. Yeah. 200 bucks. I've actually done it. I've actually got plans to do it myself. Yeah. Are you going to do it yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got old uh, denim black jeans I've been working on cars and years. Well, this isn't <laughs> going to happen. Don't, don't listen to him. I'm actually, even if I'm actually going to pay Errol to finish this off. But We're going to fix it up. This is really cool, man. This is really, really cool. Yeah, I put brand new tires on it too. I forgot about that. But this is the double hump, one year only, 1970, big block hood. Otherwise she's a bit flat like an aircraft hangar, but. Man, that's awesome. So it's good to see up and running again. Nice job. Well done, Joe. Do you want to put it back in before it rains? And I, I tell you, I'm, while I'm here, I'm probably gonna run through the Peugeot as well as a kind of like a, another one. But all right, guys, I hope you like this as much as I did. Ah, wow, for a car that's just started running for the first time since 97, it sounds amazing. 
really going to have to get that power steering pump sorted out. And we'll be good. Joe's got a wrap. So cool. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. And now we'll bring you more of the Plymouth as it comes along.